Professor, he's cheating off my paper. Professor, he's snitching on me. Ooh, he's got you there, Johnny. But that's preposterous! And my name's not Johnny, it's Jeffrey! Look, I don't really care, Jonas. Just stop snitching and start playing mean cards. Alright, so before this video starts, please leave a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not yet. Also, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. All links will be in the description. Now, let's move on with the video. Emir Var Emrays. Deploy, draw a card, then move a card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. Whenever your opponent plays a unit, give it spying. Devotion at the end of your turn sees a random one power spying unit. Now, this card... I played a lot with this card. I, I've played a bit off stream, off video, just, you know, to check out spies and in general, wanted to make a spy deck guide. But the thing is, this card honestly isn't that great. It, I love its design, don't get me wrong. This design is great. It is actually a very powerful engine being able to give an opponent spying at the end of your turn. Problem is, it gets answered quite easily a lot of times, but if it doesn't get answered, obviously it goes off quite crazily. Also, the seizing of a spying unit can be quite useful. I played against a Ceres deck where I was able to seize his Ceres, his Roach, and a Shield Maiden, so that was pretty funny. And yeah, this card actually is also kind of anti-synergy with spies, because a lot of times you want to use spies to sort of disrupt certain placements of cards. For example, against Syndicate versus Tunnel Drill, you're gonna put a spy between two Crown Splitters so their Tunnel Drill doesn't get the Crown Splitter, you know, crew pocket. So that's where Emir Var Enreis is actually kind of bad because he, you know, puts the spy back on your side of the field, which doesn't feel too great, so you have to play him rather late against line pockets, which you obviously don't want to do because you want to give your opponent's units spying. Also, he kind of dies very easily to line pockets. But yeah, his deployability isn't that great. I mean, it's all right. You can kind of use him if you high roll something like a Viper Witcher Alchemist. So you draw a bad card from your opponent. You can just put that card on the bottom of your deck or not. You know, you could also just draw that card if you have it in your deck and put another card on the bottom of the deck. But yeah, the Devotion ability in this card is what basically makes it shine, but it also at the same time, it doesn't. So let's just see what kind of deck I built around this card, because it is a deck that also got me to pro rank, but I didn't want to make a deck guide around it, since I do think this card is actually quite meme -y. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are playing Ballless Imposter. There is no Masquerade Ball in this deck. We have Usurper Officer as our highest provision unit. We're using Imposter with the Vanamar. I think this is one of the strongest combos with within Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard doesn't really have that many great leader abilities. I think double cross is a bit awkward sometimes because your opponent kind of fo is forced to bleed it out of you. Whereas Imposter is more of a, a tool that helps you remove stuff as well while also, you know, putting up, you know, uh, a big boy unit if you get a big boy unit from the imp opponent off of the Imposter. So yeah, I mean, the spy package is also there with Joachim, Roderick, and I'm also playing the Milton and Palmerin cards because I do think that they kind of work well with the spying archetype. I would like Milton to have a bit more synergy with spies. Maybe if it was given like a conspiracy ability, that would be kind of cool. Fergus Var Emrays is a very powerful combo card where you can set up your seditious aristocrats or if you have imperial forces on your side of the field you can obviously set up three damage for them which is quite good for the four provision package i wasn't quite sure what to play but i do play one master of the sky since i'm playing two alba armored cavalry i do think they're pretty good since i'm also running ramon for the imperial enforcers so if i don't have imperial enforcers in hand i also have a decent ramon target and i think locks are actually pretty okay in this current meta as is and apart from that i mean it's a very typical spy deck but it doesn't run ball which kind of differentiates it from a lot of things i also run the gorthor gveds combo with Cantarella so that I can put back Joachim into the opponent's deck and then play it through Cantarella. I think this is a very powerful combo, especially because Gorther Gved is just a very powerful card, being able to either play a Alchemist or a Viper Witcher Mentor just for the points, or Alchemist just for a classic little high roll situation. So yeah, that is the deck. Let's just see how well we can do with it. I did play this deck quite frequently in the last two days, so... 
Uh, hopefully I'm not gonna be disappointing you with it. So let's just jump into some games. The great thing about this deck is that people a lot of times were playing Patricidal, uh, no, Pat Blaze of Glory. I always say Patricidal Fury for some reason. But the great thing about this deck is that people a lot of times think that you are going to be playing ball at some point. Ooh, this is a interesting hand. We have two locks, but he's playing, he's playing Crystal Skull. I don't like that at all. That does not feel too great. I guess I get rid of the Usurper. He doesn't really do much for me this round. I have like a Seditious. Okay, so I probably can get rid of one of the Alba Armored Cavalry. Okay, we got a lot of spy synergies here. A lot of spy payoff. So he plays the Protector. I think we can lock this. This is a pretty okay lock, I would say. And I mean, with the Fergus... These guys are actually just playing for sevens, which isn't terrible. We could also like try and high roll Cantarella this round if we need to. Would have liked some some low point spice like emissaries and duchess in this hand. They could have been quite useful here, denying bloodthirst, for example. So we'll just have to deal with that, I guess. I could try Cantarella high roll here, honestly. Um, am I? Do I want to do that though? I think I want to set up one Impera Enforcer first. Hit the boat, I guess, the nine some damage. Oh, he's got another one of these. Okay, that's pretty annoying. That is actually quite annoying. So he has his Blood Eagle enabled now. Oh, that's actually really bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just hit this Hamia Protector. Maybe he's gonna play Blood Eagle next. I can see that being the case. Oh god, okay, that's kind of scary. But we can actually deal with this now, which is great. Because now we have six damage perfectly lined up on our side of the field. We're gonna give spying to to this and this. So now we're pretty good to hit on this protector. And that's Fergus of our M race. He got a good value. He's also gonna get good value with the aristocrats now, which is great. So we deny him his engine here, and Fergus got some pretty good value, I would say. So I think I'm just gonna play the aristocrats at this point. This, is, this could be a coop target, I guess, which isn't terrible. I'm right, gonna play the Seditious Aristocrats. Now, we don't have good Ramon targets anymore since we played both of our dudes, but that's why Sargent is in the deck, I guess, and the Alma, Arbor, Al, Alba Armored Cavalry. But yeah, we kind of want to win this round, I would say. Definitely want to win this round for sure. So he killed both my spying dudes. We can get a 10 point Milton next turn if he uses his longship, which is great. Yeah, we go Milton next, right? He's, he's probably gonna click these, right? These bolts should always be clicked. Yeah, okay, that's good. So we get the 10 point Milton, and this is why this deck's very good because of its mid range nature. See, now we're ahead because of the Milton play. And we now have the Gorthor, Gaved, because of the good old Alchemist, and hopefully we find a good card here off of him. So now I'm guessing this is Blood Eagle time. Oh no, it's just gonna play his good old Bear Witcher. It does get ahead of us. So I could Cantarella now. I can try and high roll Cantarella. Yeah, sure, let's try it. Oh, look at that! We get the Morkvark. That's actually pretty good. That is actually pretty good. Uh, so I, I think I hit this down. I want to get rid of that boat. And we got ahead of him now as well. That's a pretty good Cantarella. I've become the thing I hate. <laughs> Wait, he's playing discard package? Okay, that's interesting. Not really what I was expecting here. So he uses that now. Okay, I, I'm gonna assume he's got something as his last card. So I'm just gonna play the good old 12 point balance bronze Viper Witcher Mentor. So the Coop now plays for nine. He doesn't have any armor with the Ancrate Marauder. So that's pretty okay. So let's see what his last card is here. Did he play Blood Eagle? No, he did not. So we could win this on even. Winning on even here would be very nice. So we win this on even, that's great. So we could, hopefully we draw like a Joachim here. Joachim would be very nice to have for sure. Would be very, very dope. So, so thank God we got his Morkvarg. Would have been quite annoying against this stuff. Okay, we get a Ramon. 
mean, this is a pretty good Ramon hand. I would like... Oh, that's better. That's better. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, problem with this, though, is... I don't really have a target for my Coupe de Grasse. Alright, I'm gonna I'm just go ahead and play this. I could back, put back the Raider. It's not terrible. I hope I get a good target with my... Okay, does that. That's a pretty good Ramon, I would say. Denies two points. Two damage, as well. Yeah, I really want him to play a three-point unit here. Or plays Iced. That's quite important. There's a Bear Witcher. Oh, man, I wish I had, like... Uh, I guess I could have kept the Spy, but... I needed Brathens there. I mean, I could just go for Imposter onto the Bear Witcher to force out his leader. And I probably put back the Uncrate Raider on top of his deck. Or do I put back the Brokvar? I think I put back the Raider. So now he's down a bit of points. There's the ice. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. We trade leaders. Which is kind of okay. So out comes the ice. Otherwise he loses this one. And yeah, I mean... We just pass. I mean, we could also go for a Coupe de Grass to maybe force out his last card. Honestly, that's not bad. I think we do still do this, right? I, think, I still think we have to Coupe de Grass here. Maybe his last card's Herald, you never know. Oh yeah, let's go, that's Herald, right? Nice, okay, so that, it was good to play the Coop there. That was pretty good. He top decks his... I guess he does top deck. Maybe we should have given him something worse. We should have probably given him a Skirmisher on top of his deck, because now he top decks a pretty good card, I guess. So I want my Spy... Okay, I don't want this anymore. Oh, Roderick's great, nice, love that. Okay, uh, do I need Palmerin? I don't really need Palmerin, but I don't have many good targets anyway here. I think we're good with this hand, honestly. We got rid of pretty much all of his provisions here. Yeah, we should have gotten rid of most of his provisions now. Goes great sword. I'm gonna go do this. Hopefully I find Joachim. Okay, I do not find Joachim. That's really bad. I still keep the... Oh. Is this better than Palmerin? He plays Greatsword. I guess he can kill my Emir, so I think it's it's right to just put back the Emissary at this point. Okay, goes Raider. Alright. Just gonna do this. Get the Brathens. That's great. I'm gonna go Duchess for a Raider, probably. That's best, right? Yeah, that's best. Because now I get the Duchess back, and Emir Var Emre's coming in clutch. Ain't that great. Hopefully he plays a 3 here. That would be very funny. Oh, we have we have a lot of damage set up for uh, the Emir's Yoink at this point. We have 4 damage set up, so if he plays a 5, that's also really good. Does he not play Blood Eagle? Did he play Blood Eagle at all this game? I don't remember if he did. Yeah, I don't think he did play Blood Eagle at all this game. He used his Vabjorn for a raiding fleet. So there's a Skjordal. Oh, so we don't have the setup on that. But I still think we win this one. Wait, is that a tie? I think we just tied, didn't we? Is there any way we don't tie here? So if Emissary actually would have been more points than Palmerin here. Emissary actually wins us the game now. Oh, come on, Palmerin. You suck, man. You suck. Oh, Emissary actually wins us the game here. It's more points. I should have probably kept the, the Emissary then. Oh, that was a mistake by me. All right, we're playing against Deadeye Ambush. Okay. We go first. We do go first here, don't we? Huh. Okay. That's not the worst. I probably get rid of Usurper here. Two locks. Eh, it could be okay, but I don't think I need two locks in this situation. Okay, I don't think I need two sergeants as well, to be fair. Okay. 
So we're gonna go sergeant. We're not gonna give it TA because you know traps and stuff. Okay, he's got he's got he's got bombs as well. To be fair to him, okay, this is a bit awkward now. I could go Brathens, I guess, to play around his uninteract. I could also go Gorther and high roll. I like a bit of Gorther high roll. Let's let's play bad design cards. That's always funny to do. Hopefully we don't draw. Oh god. Yeah, that's why I don't like this, huh? So let's. I guess we get give him Palmerin. Palmerin's pretty ass. Oh, I get his Eldane though. Okay, that's a fair trade in that case. <laughs> give me that Eldane, dude. I want that Eldane blood. Oh, what? It's gonna go immediate. Wait, what? Feign death? But he doesn't have payoff to his traps. Why is he doing Feign death? Why is he playing this Feign death card? I don't get that. Okay. Sure. So we're gonna give this a boost. We don't really play specials. I guess we play one special, so we have to be a little bit careful around Pred Dive. We're gonna. I think I'm gonna play Emir this round as well. I know I'm gonna draw Roderick, so I can get rid of one of the emissaries. Even though emissary is not terrible here. I also didn't want to play into Serpent Trap, which is why I didn't boost this up. I. I mean, he can he can damage it now with his waylay, which is a bit annoying, but it's all right. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay, uh, well that's a bit of a problem now. So, I do I go Vanamar here? I mean, if I go Emir right now, I, I, his Serpent Trap is pretty dead anyway. Oh, I can put Eldane on the bottom of my deck. That's pretty good then. So, yeah, seems alright, I guess. He needs to use one leader charge to kill this with Yaven. Probably should have gone TA on it. Okay, go second. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this then. And just play like this. Yeah, these double sword man, sword women are pretty annoying though. Okay, that's pretty good. Since I can now do this. Oh, that's really good, right? Yeah, that's really, really good. So I do this, and I copy this, and I give myself an elf. Elf on a shelf. Yeah, that seems alright. Alright, he's trying to, I mean, he's gonna kill the Emir at this point. But Emir got some good value, I guess. Oh, we still got one Emir charge, that's pretty good then. Oh, I do. I do actually get the pass here as well. But I, I he hasn't really played much, to be honest. Oh, dude, how do I do this? I could just also coop this, right? This is not a terrible coop. Please yoink the elf. Thank you. All right, Emir got good value here, to be honest. Like, it actually didn't do that badly. Goes for Squirrel. I guess he banishes my Coop now, which is a bit annoying. He hasn't really played a single Bronze yet, so this is really annoying for me right now. I'm gonna shoot some of his Elves down, I guess. I mean, I'll probably play the Fergus here, even though he's a pretty good card in later rounds. I kinda wanna win this game, though, to be fair. I mean this round at least. He hasn't he has he's only played one like gold card this game and like Ellerin, that's it. He hasn't played a single gold elf. Which is really bad for me. I might even have to go Vanamar this round. In the worst case scenario. But Emir guy, Emir did pretty well here. He got like he yoinked like th four cards here. That's pretty good value actually on Emir. Wait, why didn't he just heat wave us earlier? the hell was that all about? Oh boy. So we get a leader charge out of him. I mean, he's gonna win on even here, isn't he? I feel like. Do I have to go leader as well now? Ah, he just needs five points. That's so bad. 
God damn it, I have to use leader here. This feels really bad though. Yeah, he's just played one scenario and was able to keep up with bronze cards this entire game. If I lose now, I just lose the game, by the way. If he has a, like a Yaven or an Isengrim or a Venasiel, we just lose here. He also has his leader charges, I guess. Like, this is just terrible for us. Spores. And two leader charges, at least. I mean, he wins on even, but he's exhausted his leader charges. We might still have a decent short round here. With Eldane at the bottom. Like, he, 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 he hasn't drawn a single trap, by the way, this round. That's, that's kind of what's annoying me the most here. Alright, that's pretty good. So what... Oh, he has my Palmerin, doesn't he? Yeah, he does have my Palmerin. <laughs> I was like, what card does he have here? Imagine he had, like, I don't know... Cantarella or something. Actually, there's no... There, there would have been, like, one good card he could have had. Or, like, one bad card in this, like, Seditious Aristocrats. Every other card's alright. For him. Or, like, Duchess is also a bit awkward, I guess. So, is he gonna bleed me? Alright, that's a trap. I mean... Sure. I hope this isn't a pitfall, I guess. Okay, it's just a serpent, I guess. Why is he Why is he bleeding me here? That makes no sense for him. I have a way better short round than he does. I think. I mean, I would assume I do. Alright, there's the classic little Palmerin. I'm not playing a special this round. He already banished my coop, so I have no more specials in my deck. So what's his lot? Wait, component is... What is he this? Oh, okay, Hattori. Okay. And another Serpent. I mean, that's not that bad, I would say. Oh, shoot. I kind of want to high roll Cantarella now. Alright, give me the give me the Vernasiel, baby. Give me the Ver... Oh, I mean... It keeps me ahead. And I'll put back a, a, a terrible Squirrel into his deck. Could also put it... Nah, Spores actually is alright. So I'll put Square on top of his deck. Clock his mulligans a little bit. And we, I mean, we go into a short round. We have like Joachim. We could draw Usurper as well. Hopefully we draw well enough here. There's a Seditious Aristocrat. I don't want this card. Okay, these are all pretty bad cards, to be honest. Uh, Joachim's good. So I can probably mulligan Aristocrats. Oh, let's go. Great. Little... Stuff there. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's that's why I wanted to. Mo oh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's great. He just forfeits on the spot. We mulligan his Eldane, and that's why we win, I guess. <laughs> great design there. Great design. All right, we go against lined pockets. Now this matchup is kind of like a 50-50. I've won some and I've lost some. It really depends on our draws in round one and if we go first or not, because going second is is definitely the better <laughs> situation for us here. Okay, uh, I don't like Duchess and Foreman in this matchup. Emir's all right, I guess. We can play round one here. It's not the worst. We have Roderick, so I guess we can mulligan at least like one gold. I guess Vanamar isn't great with this hand. He's kind of unplayable. Okay, we have no locks in our hand as well. That's kind of awkward though. Seven? You're having a laugh, aren't you? Oh my god, he's got a seven point safe cracker. That's ridiculous. How do I play around that? Oh, I wish I had Serpent Trap, dude. How do I? I can't play around. I, I have no locks. If I had locks here, this would have been a lot easier, but I just. I think I just have to throw away cards here. Seven point. Like, ten point safe cracker. It's still. It's a 17.5 provision bronze, dude. That's so busted. Oh, now he's got justice for another... S oh, dude, he's got two 10-point safe crackers here. That is a bit silly. Look at that, bro! How is that balanced? Who balances these cards? Please, explain to me. I mean, we just have to play bad cards and just pass. Right? I can't really do against anything against this. This is kind of... This is kind of screwed. Like, he's just gonna play bad... He just needs to play bad cards here. And he's good. Like, no matter what I... I mean... Nah, this is fine. Like, I'm, I'm fine to just pass here, right? I mean, I could play, like, a Seditious Aristocrat as well. Oh, he's got double... Oh, that is such a nuts hand, dude. That is actually the most insane hand I've seen this deck actually draw. 
in a long time. Alright, I'm just gonna pass here. This has been a fun experience playing against this line pockets deck. With their third with their five provision 13 point cards. Seems balanced. <laughs> I mean it's not really safe crackers, that's the problem. I mean they are pretty stupid, like they actually are a bit dumb from the design standpoint, but it's alright, it's alright. Alright, so he has a like a full pocket of carryover coins. We have Ramon into enforcers, so I'd say game set it's looking pretty alright, I guess. We got Joachim as well. I guess I guess I can kick Vanamar since I only have leader to synergize with him. This might seem a bit weird, because like ah, Gorsar is actually pretty good here as well. Alright. I actually have to I'll, I'll take this hand for sure. Ah, uh, there you go. That's that's what I don't like seeing. So we have to kind of disrupt his strategy here with our uh, spies now by emptying the crew pockets. I have no lock. The lock missing a lock here is actually so bad. Like I need to lock his um, his cleaver. Cleaver is such a hard like card to counter for us. I might have to use leader on that, honestly. For the moment, I can try it like this. Alright. <laughs> Let's high roll, baby! Oh! I mean, Philippa's pretty okay. I mean, it's a, it's pretty bad tempo, but it's actually alright for us. It's not the worst. Probably should have hit the cleaver a bunch of times. Oh god. Oh god, oh he's- just, ah, where's my lock? I need my lock, dude! Oh, that's so annoying! Oh, crap. Mm, this is so bad. Yeah, this is where- uh, okay, no, he's not tunnel drilling, okay, that's- That's all right, we can play around that, I guess. Oh, he's- okay, so he, we know he doesn't have Philippa. If we play Emir here, that's actually not terrible, I would say. Can I find a lock? No, of course not. I guess I have to kick the Aristocrats. And now we're opening crew pockets for us. Ah, this is so bad. This is where Emir is kind of bad, because Tunnel Drill now just eats us alive. This card is such a broken goddamn card here. Look at the balance, guys. Look at the balance of this card. Seems fine. Wow, that's fair. Oh boy. I guess I just have to go Brathens here. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> that's so bad. Like, he just wiped out two of my engines in one turn. Like, that's not fair. That's genuinely not fair. Okay, gets, gets a lot of coins. You can all kill the Brathens as well. Feels good. Yeah, I mean, in this case, if we had a lock here, we would have been able to, you know, stop Cleaver. I mean, Emir in this matchup is kind of kind of bad. Oh, now we find the lock. Great, 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 great. That is a bit too late, to be honest. He passes, and I don't think we have the points here. We might have to, like, go two cards down here. Yeah, we're down so many points here. It's actually ridiculous. What is this ridiculous All right, I have to actually try and get lucky off of the Mentor now. All right, we do get lucky off of the Mentor. Otherwise, we probably would have just lost here. All right, we have the Palmerin and Milton combo. This is gonna win us the game, guys, trust me. Not like we haven't already spent all of our good stuff this round. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's so bad. All right, if I can keep these Enforcers alive, I might actually win this. I might actually have to kick the Coupe de Grass. All right, Vanamar is actually not bad. I mean, we're losing this. There's no way we win this, I think, but we can always try. Yeah, never know. Yeah, GG. I'll go Fergus now. Fergus isn't going to get value outside of the seven point body at this point. Go see Jackal. This might be his only spender. I'm going to kill it. Alright. I mean, we're up a few points, but like now he has a Gord, he has uh, Jack. 
If he has jacket, I mean he has Onero, right? He has okay, he has Siggy, I guess. Oh, that's actually not bad. Well, he knows my my card here in hand is Milton. He should know that. Okay, he knows. He's not a stupid man. Okay. I'll put back put back an emissary here. I don't know. I mean, we were still we still had some good round a, a decent round here, but now it's just Gord and wait, does he not have a spender here actually? I guess, oh no, he goes, oh, I actually didn't have a spender to be fair, but yeah, he still wins even if he doesn't. I mean, it was actually kind of close. The guy kind of drew perfect, like his round one was a bit ridiculous. His round two was even more ridiculous. So like, the guy kind of drew perfect hands. So I, I can't really, you can't beat this deck if they draw like this. So I, I'm, I'm not really upset here. All right, so I've been waiting in oh, Q for so long and I'm gonna play another, oh no, we go first as well. Oh, Jesus. Let's hope they didn't draw as well as they did last game. Then we might have a chance. Probably still don't. Emir's good round one. Sounds actually pretty good in general. I guess I like Vanamar. Locke is good as well. I, I don't think I need the Sergeant then. Gorthur is alright. Alright, I can keep this on, I think. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Give this a little... Good old tactical advantage. Hopefully he doesn't play the poisoned variant. There are some decks that play the poisoned variant, which obviously not that great, but what are you gonna do? Oh no, not a seven again. Are you goddamn serious? Oh, this is so annoying. Uh what do I get rid of here? I don't wanna put Usurper on the bottom of my deck. I guess I put the emissary down. Oh man, this is so bad. This is so bad, dude. Ugh. Oh, he does play... Wait, wait, he self-poisoned? I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely take it. <laughs> that was... That was <laughs> I'll take that one for sure. <laughs> Alright, we are facing... Ooh, Dead Eye Ambush. We did well against it last time. This time he goes first as well, so maybe I mean we we won because we high rolled to be fair, so let's not let's not be over the moon ecstatic over the last win we had with this. Duchess Informant it's a bit meh. Vanamar, eh. Okay, we get a lock at least, that's fine. Alright, what's he gonna start off with? Oh, he's gonna immediately start oh, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course. That is a bit annoying. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. I need to think, I need to think. I think I need to high roll here. I think I need to high roll my Roderick. That's not a high roll. I could coop the Roderick, I guess, and try and high roll again. There you go. That's what I would need it. I need I need this Ramon now. I definitely need Ramon in this situation. Ramon is quite literally the one of the strongest cards in his deck. We're also interrupting his commando engine, which is great. Okay. Removes the armor. I mean, I'll go ahead and shoot this guy so we have one thing for Emir at least. Okay. He kills one of the guys. That's fine for me though. I'll play the Emir now. Oh, we get another one of these? Ooh. I kind of want to put Palmer in on bottom of my deck now. These are really good in round one. Oh, he has Curse as well. Wait, so what, what kind of deck is he actually? Oh, this boosts itself now as well. That's a bit annoying. Guess I'll lock this. I mean, I could actually play Ra Joaquim here as well. Stuff on his back row. Curse of Corruption. Interesting. Okay, he kills one of them. That's A-OK -okay with me. I'll just go Roderick here, brick his row. That's pretty good. Go Duchess into into this is the most points 
And I'm going to kill... Uh, I wish I could kill an elf here, but I kind of want to brick his back row here. I think I hit... I guess I, I shoot the thingies. Okay. I'll just go Vanimar now. It's fine. I guess I could have killed an elf in that case anyway. That's another trap. Go Witcher Mentor. That's pretty good. Is he going to play Eerden? This is weird. So one of these was a crushing trap. He has played two traps, to be fair. I think I'm good to pass here. Oh, and we get Eldane out as well. That's great. So we go a card up here, and we get Eldane. And we get the forfeit as well. That's pretty good. So we got two quick games here. Oh my, why did it get so dark all of a sudden? <laughs> I just realized the whole lighting changed here. Oh yeah, because outside it got really dark. So I'll just change the lighting here real quick. All right, who are we facing here? Uprising. Okay, so if this is Witcher NR, this could be a very interesting game for sure because they don't have too much control no they don't have that much control so emir might actually live as well i'm probably gonna mulligan usurper here it doesn't do much in round one we don't have that i mean we could play aristocrats i mean we could, we could play this round for fergus and like enforcers it's definitely not the worst we go first which actually isn't terrible in this one i guess i can get rid of one of these guys you can also try and coop his Erland, which is funny. This is actually a play I always wanted to do. I guess I get rid of Emissary here as well. So, NR has no punish for this. They shouldn't have, so we're just gonna go ahead and do this. I'll gonna, I'm gonna lock his... That's fine. Just play the Enforcers here. I should probably roll stack here because of... Ah, they might have Eerden, though. You never know because of Eerden. Okay. Protectiles and ranged weaponry. So do I lock this guy or do I lock the... I mean, this guy is insured value, so I'll probably lock him. Okay. Goes selective mutation. I mean, this guy doesn't play defender, so we're going to imposter his Keldar. That's always a good one. So we might actually go Vanamar. I might actually go Vanamar here. I don't mind going Vanamar. Yeah, Vanamar seems pretty all right. Got a lot of, we've got a good lead here. There's the Erland. I'll, I'll give Erland a, I'll give him a spying. This is fine, right? I'll keep one charge. Actually, no, I'll kill this as well. I'll, I'll shoot it down to three. So even if he boosts it, we get the coop the grass on it. And a coop the grass on an Erland seems pretty fine. Okay, goes for that. So now we go coop on Erland, and that seems pretty good. That is a pretty good coop to grass. Because we are a very... <laughs> you oh no, it's actually bad for spies. Oh no, that's actually really bad for spies. <laughs> I just realized that maybe wasn't the best play. But I think it's alright still. It's alright still. We, we are in a pretty okay position now. We just... I guess... Are we good in the long round? He's got some carryover. Aren't we just good in the long round here? We have the five point Joaquim, that's not great. Um, I guess I'll get rid of Aristocrats. Oh, this is bad now. Okay. I don't think I'm unfavored in the long round here. I think the long round actually is pretty good for me. I still need to draw some good cards, but I think this is fine. Because AA also is really, you know, good against the bleed for him. We're kind of just unnecessarily going a card down in that case. So I think we're all right here. I mean, we have a one point extra Joaquim and the, the Usurper lost his boost. So we actually didn't get any carryover for this round with the Erland, which doesn't feel great. But that's a good one. That's a good one. And that is actually also a good one. But we don't, I don't think I need it. Oh, that's a very good one, huh? So... I didn't play Roderick. I have a lock. Do I need Cantarella here? I don't think I actually need Cantarella here. Actually, no. She makes my Roderick a bit more awkward. I think this is fine. 
So it goes AA immediately for the good old Griffin Witcher. I mean, we could just lock this to me. I mean, no, I actually want to lock Keldar. Locking Keldar is a bit better. I could just lock it right now with Albar. I'll, I'll see what Roderick gives me. It does give me the Brathens, which I actually didn't want here, but we'll take it. So I have to lock it with my good old trusty Alba armored. We do lose some points on enforcers here, which is a bit annoying. But if I found Ramon, we wouldn't have lost a single point here. I mean, we have Ramon insured with Coop now, which also isn't terrible. Oh, now we have Ramon insured with Coop. So I think I lock this now. Or do I... No, I lock Keldar. I always do leader on Keldar, I think. That seems okay. I mean, this deck has so many raw points. Alright, now then I, this is going to be a, quite a slow setup, but I think it's going to be worth it in the end. So we're going to Coop the Roderick. And we're going to go for the good old... Ramon here. I want I want the insured Ramon for sure. So we're gonna go do this then. And then and then we kind of pop off, I think. Then we play the second one and we should be okay. Because now he he doesn't have any control left. He might have like an Anses or like an Earden. But that isn't really that fantastic anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and do uh, do we shoot the shields off? I don't think we need to shoot shields off here. Alright, so... Now we play the Emir. Let's see what we can actually get off of Emir. We might actually... I might actually mulligan the Cantarella here. Okay, I'll, I'll probably... Do I? Yeah, I think I, I, I think I keep Cantarella here. This is alright. Alright, so now we are in a pretty okay position, I think. There's the Keldar. Get spying as well. We could just yoink this with... <laughs> we could go double Keldar, which is funny. Okay, now we can't go double Keldar. I mean, th this doesn't matter. We have a leader on this. Whee! And we are going to also play... I might play Usurper here, right? How bad is it to play Usurper here? I don't think it's that bad. We still have some agents left. Hold these charges. I think I need to kill stuff, honestly, at this point. Kill stuff that doesn't have spying, basically. Just kill units. Yeah, this is pretty good for us now. Alright, that gets spying. That's pretty good for me. Okay, boost it up, that's funny. Alright, he's going leader as well. That's a pretty big leader, to be fair. That's a lot of charges on our side. I'm gonna just shoot the S. Oh, this is a great match, by the way. I'm so glad I get to play it like this. Um, I'm also gonna go Palmerin, I think. We might actually run out of space here, though, which could be funny. And we are also going to hit you down to one. Oh, we actually are running out of space slowly and steadily. So we have to, I think, start playing front row now. Oh, look at a big Vesemir coming in clutch. I'll go Ra Joachim then. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good as well. Oh, yeah, that's what you want to see, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. So, we don't actually need anything, any value off of Emir anymore. I mean, we got some. All right, value. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, God. All right, so he plays the Leo. We're going to play Cantarella for target practice. I guess we target practice you. I mean, we win this no matter what we do at this point, I think. So I think I actually have to kill... Oh wait, no, we have two spaces, right? So we can yoink one of the Cantarellas. Actually, I want to yoink the Vesemir here. Or at least try... Actually, no, I can 100% yoink Vesemir, which is great. And we're... we can also, I guess, kill this guy. To deny some value on his... Dude. 
Yeah, this is just looking good right now. This is just looking good right now. Our f we have a full board. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a pretty big Geralt, to be fair. I mean, it's not going to be big enough, but yeah. GG. G to the G, my friend. That was a funny little game. No control against us, and you saw what it will do to you. All right, so Emir. Emir, honestly, he's a fun card to play, but he's honestly not great either. Like, he's a very good engine for his... Whenever an opponent plays a unit, give it spying. But his devotion can feel very awkward sometimes, especially when you use your spies to disrupt the opponent's strategy. You saw that perfectly in the game when we lost to the Syndicate deck. When we tried to remove the crew pocket from the tunnel drill, and Emir just yoinks back the spy, and that just doesn't feel too great because, you know, you wanted to actually disrupt the opponent's ability, but Emir just says, come back to our side, Mr. Spy. And that didn't really work work that well but I think the card is a really fun card to use in a long round three he's not that great he's actually very good in round one mostly he's a very decent round one card but I do think at 11 provisions he might be a bit over costed which seems a bit ridiculous saying it at, at this way because he already plays for nine when you play him with a one point spy on your side of the field but you he usually just dies so a lot of times he just plays for nine but his his ability to give spying whenever the opponent plays a unit is actually ridiculous. Like that is actually one of the strongest abilities for the spying archetype, especially with things like seditious aristocrats, where they gain the boost on the ploy. So it doesn't really matter if they're on your side of field. All that matters is that the emir doesn't get answered. But obviously, emir does get answered quite a lot in this current meta. But he might. Honestly, bait out removal that the opponent doesn't have for something like an enforcer or a seditious aristocrat later on. So that's actually also very useful because your deck does rely a lot on these very few engines that you play. And if the opponent doesn't have enough removal for all of them, it could backfire pretty hard. So yeah, I do like this card for sure. I like the design on it, but it does feel very clunky. Don't get me wrong. This does not feel that amazing to play a lot of times but when it works it works really well so that that it's kind of a win more card within the spy archetype that if it sticks it, it's gonna win you the game pretty much and yeah that was emir of our end race i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like subscribe for more gwen content and i'll see you soon